Hello guys and welcome to another weekly vlog. I'll turn you this way, can't I? Um, it's Tuesday. I'm going to some mums. I shall switch you around and have a chat to you in a second. I'm just going to turn you around. Bricks are going on the house houses, so I'm sure you're not in the slightest bit interested in bricks going on those houses, but I'm documenting it so I can look back to when the houses were built because I'm sad like that. So let's turn you around and you can see some of the red bricks going up on the new houses. All right, you're going to have a view of my garage. Apologies. Hmm. You see how close the house is? So I'm just pulling out of my house now. And that's where the new houses are going to be at the end of the street. So you can just see. You can see it on front when I get past this tree. Let me see. They're big flipping houses, aren't they? Big red brick houses. I don't know if you saw the little the little builder walking around the scaffolding. He is captured for posterity at his work for the rest of the You know what I love or what I would love? You know these people that get captured on Google Maps? There's one really cute one where this woman's I don't know if it was dad or granddad, but he was quite old. And he loved to garden and he was caught on Google Maps doing his gardening and he's passed he's no longer with us and she said but forever he is on there obviously they probably will update it at some stage but she can look and see her granddad immortalized doing his gardening on Google Maps which I thought was really cute so as I say it's Tuesday I'm on the way into my mum's um, Isaac's exam start on Thursday so uh, no it's not Tuesday it's Wednesday um, Isaac had the orthodontist yesterday, so I couldn't go into my mum's on the usual day. I don't know why we're crawling. Why is the bus going onto the wrong side of the road? Where are we going around? Oh, what is that? All right, they're about to set up temporary traffic lights. We've just missed it, thankfully. Um, yeah, Isaac had the orthodontist yesterday. They think you may only have two more visits and then the brace will come off, fingers crossed. So his next one's in July. So unfortunately he will have to go to like the scouts camp with his brace. I was hoping he would have it off for activities and stuff. This is less chance of banging his face and hurting himself. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, my mum's talking about wanting to go to the eco center today to feed the ducks and the geese. We shall see. It's been raining on and off all day. So we'll have to see what she fancies. Her MS is particularly bad right now. It's one of those things you don't know if it's going to improve a little bit or whether it's going to stay as it is and continue to decline. MS is very much a relapsing, remitting and then progressive. My mum had the relapsing, re remitting, which means you have certain periods where you're really, really bad. Like in my mum's case, when she was younger, she'd be bed bound, her sight would go and then slowly she would start to come back again and as you get older my mum's now 68 she will be 69 in a couple of weeks um she now has got the progressive so it just will continue to worsen now obviously if you've heard me talk about my mum at all which if you watch the vlog you will have at length i'm sure um she can't walk she can't stand she has to be taken to the bathroom, she can't wash herself, she can't comb her hair, she can't feed herself. Um, she can like manage to hold like, um, like if we go out and she gets a, a cookie or something, I'll like take it into small bits and she can just about, but she'll still drop things a lot and now she's having difficulty even holding a cup now. She has special ones with handles and spouts and stuff, um, but she's her MS is particularly bad. <clears throat> I got a call a couple of days ago from a company that were coming to switch a hoist in the house. Now that means, I haven't been in it my mum since Sunday, so that means that the carers have said they're not happy using her steady. Um, they, I've said to her that she's at a stage where the steady's not safe, and I had said that to her when I had helped her to the bathroom last week. Um, I said, if you fall off this, you know, um, and I personally thought she should be in the hoist um, and obviously the carers have thought the same thing and they have 
introduced the hoist so that means when I go in my mum's going to be in a file mode because she doesn't want the hoist she doesn't like it but the downside of that is and you my mum has me and my dad take her to the toilet an awful lot more times a day than the carers come carers come four times a day and with MS you have bile and bladder issues which means you constantly have to go my mum probably goes to the toilet I would say on average once every hour hour and a half um, so she will expect me and my dad to take her to the bathroom on the steady which we've already told her we'd well I have told her I don't feel as safe um, but then she like gets really annoyed it's like well I need to go to the toilet and she'll sit there and stare I need to go to the toilet it's like so you can't say no and you one person can't use the hoist it's a two-person thing and obviously you need to be fully trained to use it anyway. Shit. Fucking motorbikes. The fuck? Who the fuck does he think he is? Right, did you just hear that? The guy that just drove past me on a motorbike just did like that in the window at me. so I was well into my side before they reached me but they were speeding I was about to say why do a lot of people that that are on motorcycles feel that the law doesn't apply to them um, that they can just speed through a 30 mile an hour zone because they were coming quite fast um, fucking hours. I hate people getting away with doing stuff like that and I don't I've got um, I've got a dash cam I don't know if, um, I don't think motorbikes, motorbikes don't have a registration on the front, they only have it on the back, which means I'm not going to be able to get them. It's really annoying because, they, you know, what sort of man does it take to sit and drive your, drive your bike at them toward, oh, I'm going to bring that in the house and get that clip and I'm going to put it up on Facebook and hope that he's local and someone recognises him. Um, because I'm not having it. I'm one of these people that won't like say, oh well, that, I, I'm not having it. If I've got it on camera, it's getting shared. What a fucking arsehole. It's not even like I did anything. I overtook a bus and I was into my side again before he ever reached me, even though he was speeding. That's just really annoyed me, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to talk any further because I'm cross. It, that really like shook me up. Fucking idiot. Right, I'm gonna switch off, guys. I shall um, maybe check in with you later on on the way home when I'm in a slightly less foil mood. Um, I'll speak to you later. And the courtesy of drivers never ceases to amaze. That is a disabled access, that whole section. I've had to take my mum to the car park back there where, might I add, this guy could have parked. So that's where we wanted to go. There's disabled access there, but not only is he parked in it, he's combed it off. That's not what disabled access areas are for. It's a car park, round the corner, get into it. Sure, what would you rather be doing? I'm feeding some dirt. Oh, look at that one, that's nice. I think it was nice to get his nice neck. I don't know what he is. I'm feeding some ducks. Some sneaky pigeons are trying to crack on like they're ducks. I'll get a bit more three out there. There's a big goose. Look at him. Look, it's coming for you. Hello. Would you take it out of my hand? Okay. All right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that little brown duck. Oh. He's waiting. Come on, he says. I haven't got all day. Oh. <laughs> He's a bit scared to take out your hand, I think. He wants to. Take it. 
turning of the ghost box, the turning of the ghost oh, <laughs> He just pecked our pigeon! Peck the pigeon! Peck the pigeon! Are you old enough to get that reference? Yes, I know it was chase the pigeon. Or catch the pigeon, wasn't it? Catch the pigeon. Catch the pigeon! Catch the pigeon! Alright, I'm gonna go feed some ducks and geese. Alright guys, I find the goslings. My mum can't get down to it, unfortunately, but down here, there's baby geese. I threw some down. Oh, have they gone? I think that must be the parents there. All oh, the baby geese have gone. Oh no, I can see it. Can you see it? It's between the two ducks, or geese, sorry. Hello, duck. I want to see this gosling. I don't want to scare it either. Can you see in the water, folks? <gasps> oh, bless it. It's a little baby geese. It's hiding now. It says I don't fancy much going in there. It says it's, it's wet. Let's see if I can give it some, some seeds. Zoom out a little bit. No. <laughs> right, I'm breaking up duck fights here. I don't know what you're saying, folks. Sorry, I'm just trying to get down here. Look, I'm not going to do anything. I just want to give you some food. Look. Yeah. I wonder if I throw it in the water. Can they still get it? Hello. It is Sunday. Look at this. Honestly. Um, I haven't even washed my hair yet. And it's been a week. Um, I wash my hair about once a week generally, so it's due wash. I know the colour's going to come out quite a bit. Because when I've been doing rock fit and I've sweated and the, the sweat's run down, it's been like orange. So, um, Going into my mum's. Just put this on to close off the vlog for the week. Um, Isaac has two days exams over him and two days to come. I'll wait till Darren gets in. Um, he has done... English, history, home economics, biology, biology chemistry. chemistry. I think that's it. Yeah. So tomorrow he has, it's an important day, it's maths, which is the biggie. Maths, Spanish, and um, geography. Geography is really, I, I just, I don't like it. Um, so on some of the tests, of three in the one day, which I disagree with to start with. Let's move you this way a little bit. Um, again, there has been. Um, you so they sometimes have a little bit of time before. Oh, look, let me turn you around to show you the house. All right, I just turned you down because I've just noticed that the front house is actually and this is the first time I've seen it myself. Look at that, they look like big posh houses, don't they? So it's all the bricks are on now. Look at the size of that. I dread to think how much they're going to cost. That's going to be like a, a four bedroom at least. Or is it going to be a mess now? Oh, I don't know. So, um, I just broke off to show you that. So we did, we went over some Spanish on Friday evening. We did a very quick read over some geography yesterday because I'm sort of conscious I don't want, I want like a day that's more or less free from revision. Because it's not like it's GCSE, you know what I mean? Um, so we just had a quick read over last night and um, he's going to have another read over like half hour this evening will be enough um, but he has geography first so this is the issue the one he could do with probably looking over the most is geography but geography is his first exam and they've probably got about 15 or 20 minutes before it starts so it's like no time um, he's got Spanish which he should do quite well in maths which as long as he doesn't get put into that maths class again it's like Isaac can do a thing when you show him it he just has a tendency to forget so the hope is if I sort of spend today going over certain processes of certain mathematical things it's fresh in his mind for tomorrow um because it's not like he can't do it it's that he forgets the method to do it in certain 
cases um, so it's just a refresher really so and then Tuesday he's got his last three exams which are Irish, Yawn, um, what's the last ones Isaac, Irish, there's another two, RE, just as much of a waste of time as Irish if you ask me and oh, look at the Jesus. black smoke, that's the car physics, the so that's a bit of a nasty day, Irish, Jesus. physics and RE, RE is like HE, one of them really easy ones, it's like, it's common sense. Irish is hard. Physics is really hard. Physics is the one science that you said you prefer, Isaac. I have a better teacher, that's why. Yeah, it makes all the difference. I remember at school, my geography mark. We had a geography teacher, I've maybe told you this before, we had a geography teacher in first and second year that just made an assumption that you know something that for towny kids you wouldn't know. The farmy kids knew because they're from, you know, would a tiny person know what you plant in which fields and why? No. Um, you know, it's to do with elevation and how close it is to water. And you're supposed, there's this thing, I think it was called fallow. You're supposed to like leave your field for a period of time to allow it to recover. Anyway. This is stuff that he assumed that everyone knew, and that's just an example. He did that with loads of stuff, and if you didn't know it, it was just complete and utter. You were made out like there was something mentally wrong with you. And how the class worked is, the front row were all boys, they were all pretty good at the subject. The second row, which I was in, was half boys and half girls. I was the person that started the girls. So we went from, right, we know it pretty well to, we know it pretty well to, we don't really know that much of what we're doing. And the back row was all girls and it was like, we haven't got a clue what the hell's going on. And it was down to the teacher, the girls were too frightened to say anything and the boys were mostly from farming communities, so it was easy for them. Um, and I was pulling, in my geography exams, I was pulling like, maybe around 60% or just over and I mean, that's not even is that scraping a C I don't I can't think but then we changed teacher in third year and I still remember that was the year we learned about volcanoes and stuff and I went from like pulling just over 60 to pulling almost 80 percent and rather than like people say oh, well this is a bit strange you know it was like it was almost made out I hadn't been making effort in the first couple of years of school rather than right well this child's had a chance I'm sure it wasn't just me I'm sure there was plenty of the other girls in the same boat but because they changed our teacher, my percentage went up by about 20, which is just wrong as far as I, so it just shows you when it comes to doing your exam, I just hope Isaac gets decent teachers because it makes a massive, massive difference. So that's pretty much all that's going on at the minute is revision. Um, this week, I don't think, there's nothing happening this week, is there? No, nothing this week. Um, we have booked in for the 15th of June. We're going to a tattoo convention in Belfast. I've never been to one before. I've always wanted to go. Um, like people, the tattooists will be booked out and stuff. So, you know, there'll not probably be any tattooing happening. But I just think it'll be interesting to have a look around and watch people. What? Oh my God. It's a dog with his head right out a passenger window. I mean, right out. Um, so we've got that in June. Um, we're going to see Ricky Warwick in July at the Diamond. They're having a day where it's like an early gig so kids can go. Ricky Warwick um, used to sing with a band called The Almighty. originally from Northern Ireland and occasionally he comes home and he'll do a gig, you know, for pretty cheap. Um, because, oh, yeah, so <laughs> it's just acoustic, so it's just going to be him and his guitar, but I have seen him before and I do like him. Babies. But 
so that'll be good. We've got that to look forward to. Um, and oh, and Isaac's grading for his jujitsu is on my mum's birthday, the 27th of June. So um, that takes him to a brown belt, which the next one's black. So the, hopefully the end of June, he will be a brown belt. And when he has his next grade and he's then black belt, well, um, between those belts, I'm quite surprised as a matter of fact that he's going for a grading at this stage. I thought it would be a longer period of time but they won't put you forward unless they think you're ready. So they obviously think he's ready. Um, but between brown and black, will probably be at least a year, I would say. So that's exciting. Yeah, but he could still be in the black belt when he's 14. Brown belt, I mean, fantastic. Um, nothing much else to report. Nothing of any end. Oh, yes, there is. Right, the cats haven't been in. Yeah, he'd have been a black belt by now. Out. Yeah, because they had two years out for COVID. They stopped classes. Cats haven't been back in the garden again. Darren put the spike strips along the fence, or well, not all along the fence, just in those two areas. The gate, the bit beside the gate, and down in the area where the bird table is. Um, now, I don't for a second think they won't come in over some other, uh, some other area at some stage, but they haven't been in. So yeah, they're going to strip the spikes down near the whole long fence. Yeah. Long strip. So yeah, result. So it's a method that it's not going to hurt the cats. Well, I'll rephrase that. It's not going to physically harm them, but it's going to be uncomfortable. It would be akin to me or you stepping on a Lego. Be like, ow, bloody hurt. And then that dissuades them from going over. So it is, so far, it's been working. Previously, the cats were never out of the garden. Now, they kept, may have been sneaky and we may haven't seen them, but I have not seen the cats since the strips went up. So we have a result. What we're going to do about the car bonnet is another thing entirely, but at, at least the at least the spikes have worked on the, the fence so far. So that's a result. With spikes all over the car. Spikes on the car. Making like a mad max car. So uh, nothing else to say. I will sign off and check in with you next week. You know what I have to show you at some stage? Some of the revision that Isaac's doing because I keep talking about it but I never show you so I'll show you some of that um, next week. So 